Hey guys, this is Felix, and today I'm going to be talking about the famous paleontologist Roy Chapman Andrews. Alright, Roy Chapman Andrews was born on January 26th of 1884, and he died on March 11th of 1960. He grew up in Wisconsin, specifically the city of Beloit, and I've reconstructed his family home right here. And as you can see, it looks pretty dingy and small, which is typical of most Wisconsin families. Alright, as we move on... We can see that he went to Beloit College, and that's where he actually got his Bachelor of Arts degree. And when he graduated, he actually ended up moving to New York City, where he found a job at the American Museum of Natural History. Now, as a child, Roy Chapman Andrews was super enthusiastic about nature, and taxidermy ultimately became one of his favorite hobbies that led to his job. However, that when, when he did get employed at the American Museum of Natural History, he found his job being the janitor as it was the only position available. However, during his time as janitor, he would often find himself exploring the hallways and just learning more and more about the animals that are in our world. And that ultimately led him to go to Columbia University and to get a Master's of Science in Mammalogy. Now, as he eventually climbed up and higher in his job scale, I guess you would call it, he did eventually become an explorer for the American Museum of Natural History. And that set him on the course to eventually becoming museum director. During one of his many adventures exploring for the museum to collect specimens, he ended up going to Mongolia and China, specifically Yunnan and Peking, and Mongolia and the Gobi Desert. Ultimately, Roy Chapman Andrews' end goal was to discover human remains because he was a very big supporter of the out of Asia theory which basically said that humans evolved in Asia but ultimately that would be disproved later but Roy Chapman did not know that when he was alive because no one knew that when they were alive so his original goal when he went to Asia was to basically discover the origin of people but he ended up finding more important stuff like fossils while he was over here, he discovered the first known dinosaur egg, well, egg nest as well. And he also discovered a couple animals called Ico I Idricotherium, Andrusarchus, Protoceratops, Andrusi, and many early animal mammals and dinosaurs. Now, while I could not find an exact number on the amount of species he found, they, they, they were pretty significant such as this uh, dinosaur that I reconstructed here. He also had a species named after himself. Um, moving on from that, uh, early on in his life, Roy Chapman got into a horrific boating accident while duck hunting, during which one of his friends drowned, and this was one of his college professors at Beloit College, and his name was Montague White, who was one of the guys who taught him and really had a big influence on Roy's life. And um, the guy who did get him his job and position at Columbia University, I mean, no, not Columbia, no, um, dang it, let me walk over here and read it, the American Museum of Natural History, uh, his name was Herman Carey Bumpus, and uh, that's the guy who ultimately set him on his track to, like, getting to where he did go. And um, fun facts about his non-academic life, he accidentally shot his own leg while attempting to take down an antelope like this. Yeah, that must have hurt a lot. Okay, and his legacy. So basically, Roy Chapman was a pretty good guy. He was well liked by everyone in 1927. He was made an honorary scout by the Boy Scouts of America because he was basically the model American citizen whose outdoor activity, exploration, and worthwhile adventure captured the imagination of many young boys. However, he did say some pretty bad stuff about women. You know, he said, Physically and intellectually, women may be the equals of men for the work of exploration, but temperamentally they are not. They do not stand up under the little daily annoyances that loom large to them in the somewhat trying work involved on an expedition. This drew a lot of ire from the Society of Women Geographers, which included his ex-wife. Yeah, I bet you can tell why they got divorced. Alright, so...
Honestly, in all, I think Roy Chapman Andrews did great things for paleontology. Although his scientific achievements were mostly discoveries, I do think his influence was similar to that of Jurassic Park during the 90s, in which it pushed a generation of young men during the 20s and 30s to consider a career in paleontology. Alright, that is all that I have to say. Enjoy my 50% functioning fireworks machine.